So guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how you can combine multiple CSV files into a single file. So we have these bunch of files as you can see in this input folder. And I am just going to open JupyterLab here in this folder. So open this in terminal and open JupyterLab. okay so I'm going to create a new file here it's named and titled and the two libraries that we need for this are in OS and pandas these are the two libraries that we need I'm just going to import them so we need OS for reading the files inside this folder and pandas for combining them so first of all we are just going to read the file so i'm just going to create an object called files and we can use os function list dir which is list directory and we can pass the path here which is input so what this will do is this will get us all the names of the files inside this folder i guess we have to use one more slash here and I'm just going to print the file names let's see okay so you can see that we have all the file names here inside this object called files so the next thing that we need is we need to read all these files so we can call this data frame and we can use the pandas function called read csv if you have excel files you can simply use read excel function but because we have csv files we are just going to use csv and we can pass here uh, from the current directory we want to go inside the input folder and then we want to go inside this file so we can use an f string here to put the file name here so what this will mean is inside input then that file okay so this will read the file and we can create an empty data frame here we can call this main equals pd dot data frame so this is the empty data frame and we can append these bfs which are gonna be created every time it reads a new file so we can append the data frame here and we can ignore the index so we can type ignore index equals true so what this will do is this will append the data frame to our main data frame so this will append the df to our main data frame in which we wanna store store all the rows from these csvs so one thing you have to make sure is that in all the csvs the number of columns are same and they are uh, correctly ordered same i mean the order of the columns is same in every single file okay so this will get us the main data frame and just to make sure that we are getting all the rows what we can do is we can create an object rows and we can count the length of tf and store this inside this so rows equal rows plus length of df so this will uh, increase the length every time with the new data frame and we'll get the total and we want to print out the rows so this will get us the number of rows that are total and the length of main data frame so these both of these should be equal so we can say f number of rows which is rows okay and number of and length 
of main is this okay so this is what we need and let's execute this code so we will get these errors so that's not a problem i mean these are not really errors these are just warnings that uh, the append method will be deprecated in future so we don't have to worry about that and number of rows are okay but the length of main data frame is zero so there is some problem here what is the problem here you can see that it is inside input folder everything is good let's print out main data frame and see what we are getting okay so it is empty okay i guess main equals main dot append I think this is what we should do yeah so now you can see that number of rows and length of main both are the same and now we can print this out we can see that all the data is combined and we have all the rows in a single data frame now to convert this into an excel file or a csv it is very easy we can simply use dot to excel or dot to csv i prefer csv so dot to csv and we can name this anything we want so we can name this output dot csv and put index equals false because we don't want this 0 1 2 in our uh, output file so i'm just going to execute this and you can see that we have an output dot csv and we have all the data that we need so so i guess that's it for this video thank you for watching guys and if this video helped you you can subscribe to the channel for more videos like this because i am going to be uploading more videos very very soon so to stay tuned you can subscribe and follow thank you